What is up, you guys? If you are new here, I go by Risha Marie. If you are not new here, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you because you show up and you show out every single time. So if you are not new to my channel, then you know that I normally do hair content, beauty content, those type of things. But I am starting to include more lifestyle content. That's originally what I wanted to do because I just feel like i'm more than just hair and makeup and all that like i want to do what i want to do so in this video i'm actually redoing my closet like you see you see honey you see why it needs to be redone so basically i got this closet system from home depot and i'm gonna be installing it myself okay i'm gonna be doing everything i'm gonna be doing a full nine so i'm walking y'all through it so basically, uh, you know, you saw me take the doors off and I'm just emptying my closet, taking everything out. I did not just place my clothes on the floor. If you want to do that, that's you. I cut the tarp I had in half and then I laid, you know, half the clothes on the tarp. Um, and I'm just like emptying it out. So the full process that I'm doing, I plan on staining the trim. Y'all see that little ugly brown color? I don't like that color. This color of my doors. That's like the trim that pretty much is my whole bedroom i don't like that so i'm staining it um and i'm gonna paint i'm gonna patch holes girl i'm gonna be a full handy woman okay that is what you're gonna see in today's video <laughs> So let me just give y'all a little precursor. I have no experience with any of this, but I feel like I'm really good at seeing things and just being able to catch on and do it myself. So that's what I'm doing. I'm really into DIY and hey, if I can figure it out, let me do it. I pretty much in my head, I think I can do any and everything. So that's what I'm doing today. I've never in my life used a drill, honey, but I figured it out. I sure did. I'm struggling like it ain't nothing, but I had to stop. I had to read the little manual, which was really hard to read. Like y'all need to, I, I didn't understand that. I watched some videos on how to like work a drill, all that. Okay. So I'm like taking the screws and everything out the wall. Um, yeah. I'm doing it okay I'm figuring it out and y'all honestly I would spend too much money on letting other people do stuff for me and I actually enjoy doing stuff like this I like I like to figure how, out how to do things and like just do it myself so like yeah the drill wasn't working with me because I really didn't know what I was doing so I went and got a regular screwdriver but now I'm back with the drill so I'm just I'm I'm gonna figure it out one way or another y'all gonna see this stuff gonna come out this closet that's what y'all finna see So you guys, I'm just alternating between the drill and the screwdriver. And even at some points, I um, used a, some pliers because some of the screws were just beyond repair stripped and I couldn't do anything. But I'm getting it out. I'm, I'm working it out. Okay, you guys. So I got all of the hardware out, as you can see. I wanted to give y'all a better up close angle of everything. So all the hardware is out, even the little um, plastic piece that was down here to hold my closet doors in. I'm contemplating if I'm going to take this out, but I'll get there when I get to stain in the trim because y'all know we have to do that still so right now all the hardware is out and i have this plastic drape and i'm gonna put that down and tape that down in there and then start filling the holes and everything so we can paint so that's next so once again i'm doing some stuff that I've, i only filled a hole once before in my life and i still don't think i do the greatest job with filling holes but i 
I'm getting better. Let's just say that. So basically, it's just this um, pink to white putty that I use, like, for filling the holes. Basically, it goes on pink, and then it dries white. So that's how I know when it's dry. And then I'm just, like, putting it on there. I'm trying to make it thin because I know before when I did a thicker um lay my brother had told me that, like i would have to do more sanding so try to make them a thinner coat so you wouldn't have to do as much sanding to get it more fleshed with the walls so i know to apply thin instead of thick and then if you need to go in and do another layer that's fine but you won't have to do as much sanding if you um do like a thin coat and i'm like bagging on watching tv that's what y'all see me doing when every time i bag up to look at the tv but yeah i'm just filling every single hole in the closet the nail holes the gaping hole i did have a gaping hole in my closet let me tell you why quick story um i had too much stuff on that top shelf and my closet collapsed honey and it just ripped straight out the wall so that's why i had that giant hole um and the other two holes because like the bar just collapsed like the um brackets just collapsed out the wall it was just it was sad okay but um yeah i gotta fill them holes and then i gotta let them dry so they're on pink and then once they get white we can move on okay you guys we're on to another step of something that i've never done before <laughs> so basically i'm going through and i'm sanding the trim like just a little light sand to kind of like open the pores of the wood so the stain can have something to stick to i don't know if that is correct but it sounds smart so that's what i did um and then i just went through and like inside and out i um sanded the trim and then i went in with a wet paper towel like a damp paper towel and like wiped all the dust dirt and debris off so you know that wouldn't get trapped in the stain and then um i do plan on painting my room but it, that ain't the project we own now so i used painter's tape to outline my closet before i went ahead and applied the stain and then with the stain i got like a a small a small tube because a little goes a, a long way and the guy at the store told me like this was like a one um step type stain because it comes with the stain and the polyurethane in one container so i could just apply that and then be done and you're supposed to apply really thin thin coats as y'all can see with that big old blob in the right corner that i did not understand what thin meant like you literally just need to tap it in there and then brush it off on the sides and then apply but uh yeah i get better with it i understand what stain i understand what a thin coat means as we go along but i didn't get it at first okay so i'm just um spreading it out i really don't know i've seen people use towels to do this and also brushes i decided to use a brush um because yeah i just thought you know i could i could be more artistic with a brush i don't really know but that's what i use because that's what i had um and i'm just applying one thin coat or trying to be as thin as possible on on the entire trim so the inside and the out and then this was the next day so i had to let that dry overnight and then this was the next day and i'm again wiping it off with just a damp paper towel um before i go in with the second coat as y'all can see it don't look that bad it really don't but this second coat gonna make it look like really deep i used the color espresso because i wanted it to match my dresser like a really like dark i like that i like dark accent colors on like compared with like the white i think that looks really like nice so i use espresso and i'm just trying to really like make everything look even kind of even though i really didn't want it even i kind of wanted those light to dark um contrast that you kind of see on like furniture like it's not completely just all dark but it has like some light spots in it so that's what i was like trying to do but again i ain't never did this before so i was just doing my best
and now since the walls are dry i went in and i started sanding trying to make them as like flesh toned as possible but also with sanding i noticed that some of the holes it was still like an indentation so i did end up going in and applying another thin coat of like putty in like the bigger holes um off camera like i didn't record that and then i of course had to go through the sanding process again um to make it really nice and flush again i still don't think i did like the greatest job with the holes but i tried so um now i'm just i'm sorry about the lighting changes y'all i don't know what was going on i was using like natural daylight so the light was like changing but before i started painting i just wiped down the entire closet and the walls with um just like water or whatever just wiped them down to get any dust and stuff off and now i'm painting so i have not painted a lot in my lifetime so i am not a painter okay but um I tried to figure this out, but I was stressed under this mask, honey. Like, I know we wear masks in real life, but that mask, it, that, mm -mm, I ain't like that. So, um, I was trying to get it done. I really didn't want to wear a mask, but I was like, maybe I should, because I shouldn't be like in hell in this, but okay. So, I just tried to paint. And then what I did, I took the rolling brush and I like tried to get like the major surface and then I went in with like a smaller brush to like get like the corners and try to get that as much as possible. Cause this is just like the first layer of paint that I apply. Um, I probably won't even come on camera and show the second layer. Cause of course I gotta let this dry overnight and then I'll do my second layer and then I'll come back or whatever. Cause I don't think y'all don't need to see me painting because I, I can't teach you nothing with paint. Okay. You just, you just do it until so it look presentable i guess i i don't know i don't got no tips for paint okay i i don't have it guys so this is how it looks right now i just applied the second coat of paint and the trim is completely dry so i was able to take down the paint um the um paint tape painter's tape so now i just gotta let that second coat dry and i'm like super deep let me see if i can make the lighting better a little better i'm sorry y'all the lighting is trash but the white is the same white that's on my walls it's just dark in my closet so you can't really make it out but yeah that is what is going on now i have to build the built-ins which y'all gonna see next Okay, you guys, so of course, before I went out and bought this, I had to measure my closet to see which one would fit. Um, so you measure and then the measurements and stuff is everything is on the box. I got the closet made selective in T3 um, from Home Depot. And basically, I'm just putting it together. It's like shelving, like it comes in a bunch of pieces, just like, like Ikea type stuff does. Um, but it's way more sturdy and durable um so basically i'm putting the shelves together um and everything i don't put the rods or anything in until i'm ready to install it into the actual closet but since um you know the paint is still wet i can't install it into the closet until tomorrow so i went ahead and just started the installation for um the shelves or whatever and i'm reading these instructions y'all i really don't do well with instructions i'm more of a let me see let me visualize and let me just do it you know what i'm saying but i had to read these instructions because like i said i've never done nothing like this uh before um and i'm sorry about the mess y'all everything is everywhere like if y'all want to see me as i decorate this room and like get everything together and start doing more diy projects around make sure y'all let me know in the comment section below um just drop like hashtag diy room or something like that so let me know that y'all want to see more content like this and i will keep it coming but yeah i'm just putting the shelves together um tightening the bolts or whatever to get the shelves together even though um they can't go in the room i can do that part so that's what y'all seeing
Okay, you guys, so it is the next day, day four of me working on this closet. And um, basically what I'm doing now is I was trying to find like a stud in the wall or whatever to go into. So basically the shelves were off center because I didn't have a stud where I needed it to be to be on center. So I was looking basically for... Um, a stud so i just found one and i and it's not even going to be in both sides because my studs didn't line up there so basically i put one side in a stud and the other side is just in the wall but they do give you wall anchors in like the little um kit that they give you or whatever so i went ahead and did that um basically i'm marking where i'm gonna um put the screws and everything because you have to fasten it to the wall with the little um wall brackets and everything that they give you so i'm marking it and i'm going back and forth to the instructions trying to make sure i do it the right way like i said yeah i ain't never did none of this before in my life so all of this was new to me so i'm like measuring i'm going in with the pencil trying to find the right spot and all that kind of stuff drill the hole come back and all that so basically that's what i did and the book tells you exactly which drill bit to use exactly um what to put in the wall and all that and I was too hot, so I had to put my hair up, y'all. As y'all can see, y'all couldn't do that no more. So, um, yeah, I'm just securing it to the wall. That's what I'm doing now. And I'm going to do that with both shelving units. And once again, you guys, I am sorry about all the lighting changes. Like, the next clip is going to be super bright, and then this one is dark. Again, I was working with natural daylight. So, um, yeah, you know, sometimes the sun want to play hide and go seek, and sometimes it wants to be out. So, I do apologize for that, but I hope y'all get a good enough picture of what's going on here. Yeah, I'm just um, putting that basically where it needs to go and the one thing i can say about this kit is that the instructions were really easy to follow i did watch a couple um i did watch the video because closet mate itself has a video on how to install these in your closet so i did watch that video which helped me to kind of get an idea of what i was doing but the instruction manual was actually helpful surprisingly so Oh, okay so you guys right here is basically i'm inputting like the little um it's like i don't know what it's called but it basically it holds the rod that's going to hold your clothes so you have to drill um figure out which side you're going to have your long hanging clothes and which side you're going to have your short hanging so you know the short hanging is the double hang and then the one on the long hanging side so decide which side you want to put those in and then you put the placements um they give you like the measurements of where you need to put it you measure that out um try to level it and put it again i'm not a pro at none of this stuff um when i was finished it was a little wonky and off centered a little bit but once all the clothes is in there you can't really tell so hey i did my best and i mean it got the job accomplished because the finished product is like bomb to me like i'm happy with it so um, yeah, I'm basically just figuring out where to put those because again, I got to drill a little hole and then go ahead and screw those in um, to it's like a little seat where the rod would sit essentially and I had to install six of those um, And yeah, you put those in and then you place the rod So if the rods are too sh long which they were for my closet then you also have to cut them which was a headache in itself but yeah that's basically what you do okay you guys this is the final look um I, I think it came out pretty good for this being my first time doing anything like this working with tools all of that i think it came out pretty bomb my overall goal was to get more organization and more space and i definitely got that um, it's not the complete Pinteresty look that I was going for, but I'm still not complete. I may add some shelves, some baskets. I really don't know yet, but I'm overall proud of myself for getting this accomplished. Um, if you guys like this video and want to see more like it, make sure you are subscribed. Um, comment down below what you want to see. Turn on your notification bell, and I will catch you guys next Wednesday with another upload. Peace.